Question 2. So, uh, start off by multiplying out the brackets. So 1 times 4, 1 times minus x, x times 4, x times minus x gives us this. Um, simplifying, so tidying up the x's, gathering the x's, and popping them in the order of x squareds, x's, and then normal numbers, we get y being this. Now, we've got to integrate this between where the curve crosses the x-axis at 4 and minus 1. So they are our limits. So remember when we integrate, we want add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we get these three terms between 4 and 1. So start off by substituting 4 into each of these three terms, which I've done here. And take away from this when you substitute minus 1 into each of these three terms, giving us these three. So add all of this up on your calculator, and all of this up on your calculator. Uh, this is a minus number. This is minus 13 over 6, so be careful. We're minusing a minus, which is actually a plus. And that gives us 125 over 6, or its decimal equivalent.